this site was originally uh, Wine Council's tip. So it's been, I believe it was a tip for some 50 odd years. It's taken a lot of household rubbish, it's taken cart bodies, all sorts of things. So the, the Buddhists themselves have actually acquired this land from the, from the council some 13 years back. So it's been a remediation process. Uh, the site is quite unique where we built. There is subsidence suspected in the order of 120 to 300 mils over the first 12 months once this building is constructed. The building's got driven piles which go down to our natural ground that will support our building. The, uh, the site has got a uh, construction environmental management plan which incorporates the leachate trench which actually is diverting seepage. We call it the leachate trench and hence that is then uh, a trade waste license in place to actually dispose of that water. Once again, the, the site has been filled with about 26,000 cubic metres of fill. It's a coal wash which has been sourced locally. Once again, that's uh, environmentally friendly. But uh, overall, the whole building in its, in, its, uh, in its aspects of the building, once again, the, the precast panels are really good for our insulation qualities. They're good for sound and good for the structure. So. We're working with a unique client here, the, the Buddhist. Obviously, they didn't uh, create these buildings every, every year. Uh, it's a unique building to them, it's very special to them. They've spent 13 years getting to this point where they've actually entered into a contract with the builder. We've built up a unique relationship in that uh, this is a of trust. Uh, understand the client is most of the biggest thing. So once you understand your client, you build a relationship. At this point, we've got a great relationship with the client. Basically, it's trust both ways, so it's a, a great working relationship. And the outcomes are showing, you know, they're happy. There's always smiles, and uh, so yeah. It's the, that's the way we like to build, like you know, we work as a team. So maintain our team environment which shows in the building outcomes. The learning environment this building is particularly unusual. Uh, we're dealing with a university. The learning environment is unique in aspects of its space, uh, the, the colours, the decor, it's all worked around a learning, learning environment. Mm -hmm. The learning, learning environments are unique in that there's open spaces, there's learning spaces, there's uh, free flowing spaces, you've got a rooftop garden, so once again there's a lot of spaces which uh, are conducive to uh, good quiet time and learning. The library is pretty unique in its areas as well, great aspects in regards to outlook, lots of natural light, uh, artificial light is minimised. So yeah, it's a quite unique. Richard Cook's is most of unique. It's most of built uh, in New South Wales. Most of constructed the, I think it's the most amount of schools in New South Wales over the last 30 years. So hence, and there's done a lot of universities as well. So it's my experience of basically being in the VR. Uh, 189 schools, 237 projects. Once again, learning spaces, special spaces, need to be colourful, uh, stimulate the mind so we can learn. Uh, on that basis there, yeah, this building basically ticks all their boxes. Mm -hmm. It's got unusual spaces, unusual architecture, uh, it's interesting. It's a free-flowing building. Uh, it has all lots of outdoor learning spaces, which once again are all conducive to our different types of learning. The unique aspect of this project is that uh, every building I suppose to me is a challenge. It's like having a child I suppose, they're all, all unique, they're all individual. They all have uh, different wants and needs, but this building has been challenging from the base of, uh, like I just mentioned, our environmental section there. We've had the environmental issues, the site had been changed from a wasteland bit of tip into now a usable site. Then we've got the challenge once we got out of the ground to actually having precast panels and creating the zones and the windows and just a whole unique construction sequence that's been different. Yeah.